Wow, this table's cold though. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my god, that mosquito from yesterday is still alive. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. It's gonna die right now. That mosquito has been... It's right there. I'm talking about you. He's so damn annoying. He was biting me all last night. You think he would have died by now? Like you can't be more. Can you be more obvious? Can you fly somewhere else? Like you have a whole house. I'm gonna fly right. He flies right in front of me. Like hey, I'm here. In this video, I really wanted to answer the most commonly asked question that I get, and that is a variation of this question: What lens do you use, and what is your favorite lens? So I'm making a video on it, so you guys don't have to ask me anymore. <laughs> so I've been shooting here in Los Angeles for a couple days and I brought with me the 50mm 1.2 lens and the 24-70 to lens, both Canon lenses. Originally, I had planned to use my 50 because that's usually my go-to lens, but I've been using this every single shoot. and. And, and let me tell you guys why this has become my favorite lens. Like this is this is the answer to your question. Like what's my favorite lens? Right now it's the 24-70. If you asked me this question a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, I would have said the 50. But for what my passion is, which is fashion photography, wide angles, I'm I'm shooting outside, I'm capturing movements. The 24-70 has been so much easier to work with. I can zoom in, I can do headshots with this, I can do wide angle, I can get that the street style in there, the, the landscape photos that, that I need. Whereas the 50, it's a, little, it's a little bit more limiting and with the 50, I would have to physically move up and down to get a shot. Whereas with the 24 to 70 lens, I could easily get a range of distances without even having to move. So. When I'm doing test shoots that are about two hours long, I have what like an hour for two outfits. It's go go go. It's it's fast, and I want to finish as efficiently as possible. I just find that the 24 to 70 lens has just it's just been it's it just fit my style a little bit more, and I'm actually like distancing myself from the 50. Like it's like someone that I used to know. Like hey, we used to be friends, but now I just know how embarrassing you are. So. Like, you're not gonna hear from me. But I mean, it's not that I don't like my 50. It's just, I feel, why would I use the 50 right now when I can just knock everything out with the 24 to 70? And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of example images of my work with the 24 to 70 lens. And again, I really have to stress the fact that I'm doing more fashion photography. I wanna get weird angles and I wanna get the whole outfit because that's what, that's what agencies like to see. The 50mm 1.2 lens is a fantastic lens. It is definitely one of my favorite lenses. But it's more for, I would say, portraits. You, I always shoot full body with it. There's no problem shooting full body with this lens. But, you know, it, it, since I'm shooting, since I'm doing multiple shoots at a time, just 24 70 is just making it so much easier so like I'm inclined again I'm just this is this right at the moment this is my favorite lens if you look at a lot of my work on Instagram it's been shot with the 50 1.2 and again I'll show you guys some photos of the 50 as well so you guys can get an idea of how different it is than the 24 to 70 because you can immediately tell well, in my opinion, I can I can tell which ones I've shot with each lens. So another question I get is, in terms of the 50 1.2 lens, people ask me about buying the 1.4 over the 1.2. You guys don't stress if you can't get the 1.2. The 1.4 is just as good. I used that lens a lot when I was in Paris, and no one could tell the difference. People actually thought I used my 1.2, but I was like, nope, I'm using my tiny little lens, my 1.4. And when I travel, I t when I travel overseas, I usually take my 1.4 lens and not this one because this is like a small child. It's like, hey, I gotta make sure you're do you okay? How's it? You okay in that bag? Okay, well you're gonna have to be. It's a 14-hour flight. Uh, this lens is a disaster to take with me anywhere because it weighs. 
it's like it's like trying to take a door through the TSA. Like imagine a huge door. You just you're rolling in with a door. That's it. Feels like a do that's a weird. Yes, it is a weird analogy, but it's okay because I, the first thing I saw was the door in front of me, so that's why I said door. So, but it's very heavy. It's a heavy lens. If you love to, if you love fitness, you'll love this lens. It's like a workout, you know, and it also causes neck problems. Neck <laughs> problems. It's okay. We do it. All photographers, we all just we're just suffering deep inside. So there you have it. My two favorite lenses and my most used lenses. Would I recommend this lens? If you're doing fashion, if you're doing weddings, 100%. The 24 to 70 lens is amazing. Would I recommend the 50? If you're doing portraits, if you're doing senior pictures, the 50 is a must have. Definitely recommend it 100%. You know what, just buy them all. Just, go, just get everything. Just, you know, get a loan. Get a small loan of a million dollars and buy them all. And then send me one. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video, and again, don't forgive me when you get that loan though, for real, you guys. Like, I'll give you my email at the end of this. Just send me an email. You guys can, like, call me. So thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you guys would like to see next. Bye!